Hi, this is Mike, and in this demo I'm going to uh, open up and look at a flight recording. So here I've got, um, I'm going to start Mission Control. And if you uh, do a recording like a timed recording, um, typically if you already have, if you start it from Mission Control, it'll open in that automatically. But if you've had one, you've got one saved, I wanted to show you where, where they're saved by default on Windows. So I'm going to go ahead and open that file, and I'm going to click on Oracle. That's my the username for this virtual machine, so I'm users Oracle. That's the home directory. And you'll see in that home directory a .jmc directory, and then the version that you're using of Mission Control, and then here is the flight recording. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. You can see it'll take a second to load, if there's a lot of data in it especially. So I'm not going to close I'm going to leave that open so you can see how long it takes and there we go and here we've got the general tab group um, I've got my uh, JVM browser over here still and this event type tab we'll actually uh, see that in one of the demos that follows so what we've got here is um, now once again this is not mission control this is mission control but this is not the uh, the console so this is not live data this is data we've recorded this is a five minute recording you can see that here with the interval and we have various stuff here to look at. We've got a CPU, CPU usage graph for the whole recording there. You can see for the five minutes. And I also have a tab here for heap usage that shows the heap usage throughout that recording. So you can see a pretty, pretty nice normal garbage collection pattern there. And then we have some general information here. And since this is a tab group, notice that I have a number of different tabs here. So the uh, JVM information tab, that just shows me some information about the JVM. Once again, some information about what the command line parameters are. Then here I have the system properties. And once again, that's just the properties for the, that JVM. Once again, it's searchable. You can go in here and uh, do a um, Java star, for example, and get just uh, those keys that begin with Java. Um, and then finally, we have the recording tab, which tells you what settings you had for the recording. So this can be pretty valuable um, if you weren't sure, if somebody else did the recording or something like that. You can see what was turned on and what was turned off. So I'm going to go back to the overview tab, and I want to show you one more thing here before, uh, before I end this demo. And that's, um, we have a... Um, <clears throat> we can change the interval here that we're showing for our recording. So by default, I'm showing everything. But notice I've got little handles here that I can drag in, and then I can change the amount of time I'm showing. So there I've got down to like a two minute interval, and then I can drag this around, right? So I can see, well, I wanna look at that time frame or that time frame or whatever. So that's pretty cool. Um, and notice here I've got a synchronized selection, you know, for the time interval. If I turn that on, then when I go to another tab, say the memory tab, then we're going to use the same interval for that tab. So that's very useful, and I do use that a lot uh, when I look at recordings. Um, so I typically leave that on. And you can, um, if you double click this, it'll jump back to its original size. Notice here that we have buttons for zooming in and zooming out. So if I click on this, it'll zoom in. So I can go down there, so it's one, one minute, 14 seconds. And then I've got um, this button will do the same as a double click, zoom all the way out. And then this will increase it uh, a predetermined interval. And then these buttons can be used to move forward and backward, just like when I drag with my mouse. So there's the time inter interval um, and synchronization for that interval between the various tab groups. So that's the general tab group for Flight Recorder and how to open a flight recording.